install Jellyfin Media Server in Ubuntu 20.04. It's best to set up a static IP before you follow these steps. So to install it, open up a terminal. And if you already have an older version of Jellyfin installed, type sudo rm slash etsy slash apt slash sources dot list dot d slash jellyfin dot list and this will remove the old repository then type sudo apt install apt dash transport dash https Okay, then type sudo adapt repository universe. Then type this wget statement. Um, you should be able to copy and paste this from the video description or the comments. Then copy and paste this echo statement from the video description or comments. Then type sudo apt update. Next type sudo apt install jellyfin. Okay, to manage the Jellyfin services, you can type sudo service Jellyfin status to see if the service is running or not. And you see here that the state is active running. Then hit control C to get out of this and go back to the prompt. And then you can type sudo service jellyfin stop to stop the service. And we can check the status to see if it's stopped. And you can see that it is listed as failed, which means it's stopped. Then we can start the service by typing sudo service jellyfin start. We'll check the status again, and it is now active running. You can also restart the service by typing sudo service jellyfin restart. Okay, to manage Jellyfin, open up a web browser and go to http colon slash slash and then your IP address. Or you can do the local host or the local host IP. And then a colon 8096. And since this is the first time we're starting it, we'll have to go through a little configuration select your language and then click next 
allow notifications, and then create an administrator's username and password. Then click Next. And then you can click the plus sign to add media libraries, or you can just click Next. Then choose your language and country and click Next. Configure remote access. I'm going to leave the defaults and click Next. And then click Finish. sign in and to get to the menu you can click the three dashed lines in the upper left corner and then click on dashboard And if you click on Libraries here, you can add media to your library. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.